Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Bennett here. So I want to make an update video on a video I did uh, about two days ago talking about how to get these really high rates for staking CRO on the DeFi wallet. So what I figured out from a lot of your guys' comments and uh, just me actually kind of messing up is that if you have CRO in your normal wallet, that you can get it over to your DeFi wallet and begin staking it basically for free. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open up your crypto.com wallet. Uh, right here, you can see I have some staked, 10,000 CRO staked, and then I have a little over 10,600 CRO in my normal wallet. So the first thing you actually want to do, make sure you have your CRO here. Uh, and after that, head on over to the DeFi wallet. So the DeFi wallet looks like this. It's another app in your app store. And what you want to do is click crypto.org coin or you can click receive on the top and then you can choose crypto.org coin and what's going to come up is this page right here so it defaults to being cro now if i wanted to click erc20 you can change it and the address changes but you want to keep it on cro the address will start with cro so now what you want to do is click that little copy button right next to the address copy to clipboard, then head on back to your crypto.com wallet. And inside of your CRO wallet right here, you're gonna click transfer on the top right, and then you're gonna click withdraw. And now you're not going to click crypto.com DeFi wallet. So this is where I was mistaken in my last video. You actually want to click external wallet on the very bottom, and now you need to whitelist this address that you just copied. So click add wallet address and it automatically defaults to CRO on the top, but just make sure it says CRO there. It's not on ERC20. You can see it changes if I click ERC20. You wanna click CRO on the top where it says select network. Now, CRO wallet address. You'll click here and then you will just copy that long address you got from your DeFi wallet. Now you don't need to do a memo, so you can click that box that says no memo required for my wallet. And then you can just name your wallet. You can just call it DeFi wallet. It really doesn't matter, just put a name to it. Then click continue. It's then gonna ask, are you sure you want to withdraw without including a memo? So you do not need a memo when you are withdrawing from your wallet to your DeFi app. So you can just click OK. If you have a 2FA code, now's the time you'll be asked to put it in. And then you're gonna to need to confirm the withdrawal address at the email that you registered with crypto.com. So it'll show the email right here on the screen. And once you confirm your address on the email, it'll pull you back right to the screen. But if you need to get back here, uh, you go back to your CRO balance, you click transfer, withdraw, external wallet, and you should see it right here. So now what you want to do is click withdraw CRO. And now you can type in, I would always do a test, a test amount. I never do the full amount on the first time that you withdraw something. Not a good idea in crypto. So there is a minimum, I think 55, whoops, $55 should cover it. 50 may not be enough. Yeah, there's a minimum of 230. So probably like right now, as of this video, like $51 or so. So I'll just do 55 bucks. I will click withdraw. And here to confirm, it says from your CRO wallet to that address starting in CRO, network type, crypto.org chain, very important it says that, the fee 0.001 CRO, so basically free, and that's it. Click confirm, put in your 2FA code again. So that is all done. Now I'm going to head back over to my DeFi wallet to see that transaction. So heading to my wallet. It takes a little bit to show up here. Uh, there we go. So it took about, I don't know, 30 seconds. So here we go, crypto.org chain. If I click that, you can see the very top transaction is the 249.369 CRO. And the one before that, the 124, that was from the CRO migration I did in my previous video. So now what you wanna do is go ahead and click earn on the very bottom right. Now it says I already have $53.45 USD in my earn section right now earning 52.13%. 
really, really high. So here you can see the other rates they're paying on cryptos. It's not much different than something like Celsius or Aave or Pancake Swap or whatever else you're using to generate yield. So stable coins, again, around 10% or so. But CRO is really what you want to use this for. So earn more, if I click that blue button, and on the very top, I will click CRO. And what I'm going to do is just click max amount. So that is everything that I had in my CRO balance. And that's it. Click stake CRO on the very bottom. And I will go through this page with you. So you are staking it to a validator called Falcon 9, <laughs> kind of a funny name. Stake amount. There we have the 374. Estimated network fee, 0 0.0002 CRO, basically free. Commission, 10%. So what this commission is, is that, well, I'll just read it. Rewards received from the crypto.org chain staking are shared with the validator as the validator charges a commission for transaction validation and node operation. The commission, so this 10% commission, is a fixed percentage of your corresponding staking reward and is directly applied to your reward balance. So really, this does not affect you at all. They are taking 10% and basically supporting the network with it, paying the validators. And then click confirm stake. And here is another notification it says 28 day unbonding period. It says, I understand that my CRO in crypto.org chain staking is subject to a 28 day unbonding period when I unstake as enforced by the crypto.org chain network. So if you ever want to unstake this CRO. Basically, you can't withdraw it or sell it or move it, I believe, for a month, for 28 days. So I can click don't show me again and click proceed. Now I'm just going to ask for uh, if you have a 2FA on this wallet, you'll put it in now. And that is it, guys. Request submitted. Your request to stake 374.3288 CRO is pending. I can click view details. And if I click view status on Explorer, it pulls up crypto.org chain. So I'm going to head back to my DeFi wallet and see if it's there. So that's it. It was basically immediate. I just refreshed my DeFi earn page. And now you can see the updated amount of CRO that I'm staking right now. So pretty darn cool. If I click that uh, CRO in assets, it says estimated annual reward, again right now, 52.11% staked balance. I have 612.83 CRO staked. And right now, I've only been staking for like an hour. My reward balance is 0 0.00030088 CRO. So I'm not going to claim rewards. That would be kind of silly to do that right now. Uh, but that is it. If your CRO is on another exchange, you do have to check if that exchange can send CRO on the crypto.org chain, or do you need to send that CRO from the exchange to your wallet and then do what I did in the video today, which is transferring it for free to your DeFi wallet. So guys, that is it for the video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for letting me know I screwed up in the last video. That is totally my fault. And I admit that I am not perfect. So till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.